hello everyone in this video i will solve exercise 1b of uh, uh, d3 7th edition well i will start from question number 2 part d because previous question have been solved in my previous video so question number 2 part d is for x square minus 7 is equal to 2x so we need to solve this meaning we need to find the value of x and uh, we are going to use quadratic formula so you can arrange this equation in standard form by moving 2x on the left side it will become minus 2x when you will move with this on the left side minus 7 equal to 0 this is standard form of your quadratic equation well coefficient of x square is a coefficient of x is b and this constant is c in your quadratic formula so write in quadratic formula x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a this is your quadratic formula simply put the values of a b and c in this formula minus your value of b is minus 2 plus minus under root b square is minus 2 square minus 4 a is 4 c is minus 7 divided by 2 into a which is 4 so from here x will be equal to minus into minus plus 2 plus minus under root minus 2 square is plus 4 as minus square is plus 2 square is 4 minus minus plus 7 4 times 28 and 28 into 4 is 112 28 into 4 is 112 well x will be equal to plus 2 plus minus under root 116 over 4 into 2 okay i missed this over here 4 into 2 is 8 so 8 will be in the denominator so let me tell you how you can calculate this value without using a calculator uh, well 11 square is 121 10 square is 100 so if you will find the square root of 116 square root of 116 that is plus 2 uh, no if you want to estimate then 10 square is 100 and 11 square is 1 to 1 so you can uh, no if you take uh, if you take uh, square root of 100 what you will get square root of 100 will give you 10 the square root of 121 will give you 11 now we are at 116 square root in between 100 and 121 116 is nearer to 121 so 10.8 between 10 and 11 is the square root divided by 8 so you can estimate that if you are not allowed a calculator in your paper so that will be equal to plus 2 plus 10.8 over 8 once you are going to do it with the positive value and then plus 2 minus 10.8 over it uh, once with the negative value of 10.8 now these are two possible values of x plus 2 plus 10.8 is 12.8 divided by 8 and uh, plus 2 minus 10.8 is minus 8.8 divided by 8 so your answer will be 1.60 for this one on simplification and minus 1.10 for this one so this is solution for this one next one is question number two part e uh, exercise one b well that is nine minus five x square is equal to minus three x first of all rearrange this equation into standard form move minus five x square on the right side plus nine on the right side it will become 5x square then minus 3x minus 9 equal to 0 this is your standard form you now this is a the coefficient of x square this is b coefficient of x and this is c now you can apply your quadratic formula to solve this one that is minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a x is equal to minus b which is minus 3 
plus minus under root b square that is minus 3 square minus 4 a is 5 and c is minus 9 divided by 2 into a and a is 5 from here a now simplify this one x is equal to minus into minus plus 3 plus minus under root minus 3 square is plus 9 because minus square is plus 3 square is 9 minus into minus plus 5 4 times 20 20 into 9 180 divided by 10 well that is equal to plus 3 plus minus under root 189 divided by 10 under root 189 well that is equal to x equal to plus 3 plus minus under root 189 is 13.74 divided by well it should be 75 divided by 10 so that will be equal to plus 3 once positive value of 13.75 will be used and once you will use negative value of 13.75 with it now solve both of them to find your answer 13.75 plus 3 is 16.75 divided by 10 well that is 1.675 one value of x and the other one is 3 minus 13.75 is minus 10.75 divided by 10 well that is equal to minus 1.075 the second answer for x question 2 part number f is 16x minus 61 is equal to x square so basically we need to rearrange this equation in standard form that is x square minus 16x plus 61 equal to 0 we have to move this on right side and this one on right side this is your standard form the coefficient of x square is 1 which is a coefficient of x is b this constant is c the quadratic formula is minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac over 2a you need to put the values of a b and c in this quadratic formula b is minus 16 plus minus square root minus 16 square minus 4 a is 1 c is 67 divided by 2 a is 1 now simplify this x will be equal to plus 16 minus into minus plus 16 plus minus square root well 16 square is 256 16 into 16 minus 61 into 4 is 244 divided by 2 x is equal to plus 16 plus minus square root for 256 minus 244 well that is nearly equal that is equal to 12 divided by 2 well that is equal to plus 16 plus minus square root 12 is 3.46 divided by 2 well that is equal to x equal to 16 once with positive value of this 3.46 and once 
you are going to do it with negative value of 3.46 well that is equal to 16 plus 3.46 is 19.46 divided by 2 well this one is 16 minus 3.46 that is 12.54 divided by 2 so you can have your answers 19.46 divided by 2 is 9.73 one value of x and 12.454 is 6.27 so these are the two possible values the possible solution for x so this is the solution up to question number two in my next video i will upload from question number three onwards thank you so much